What is up, you guys? You're probably wondering what is going on. It's a Wednesday. We don't live stream on a Wednesday. Or do we? Well, we do when we have a special guest in the house all the way out from Porto. Porto, Portugal. Porto, Portugal. A friend of the channel who's coming back in to talk about product launch strategy. Why is this important? Well, you guys have an idea. You want to launch a product and you realize something's happening. It's the sound of crickets chirping. I should hit that sound effect, but I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> and it's like you come up with this great idea and nobody's interested. So we have Joanna Galvao back on the show. If you guys don't know who she is, here's, here's a quick reintroduction of who she is. She's a creative director, designer, a public speaker, and a strategist from Porto, Portugal. And she's here because she's going to school us. So today, today, I'm going to get schooled. Ben is going to get schooled. Matt's going to get We're all going to get schooled. So I'm get ready. Schooled. <laughs> <laughs> we're all getting schooled today. Today. Okay, guys, please help me welcome Joanna back to the show. <laughs> Look at that. And you guys, you guys need to know this. There were some complaints about the audio quality from the last time, so there will be no such issues today. That's why I flew all the way out here, so we could have decent sound. I have to say, yeah, you, you, are, guys. <laughs> you are one dedicated person, Joanna. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I'm just going to fly out. I'm going to do this the right way, and here we are. And first of all, how does it feel to be in the booth? How do you feel? It feels good. Yeah? It's a little hot in here, but the sound is really awesome. But talk, tell me about the temperature. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, a little hot in here. We're in the box, and it's. Well, too I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get your audience to like picture themselves here with you. Yeah. You know, L you gotta include all the senses. Okay, describe more then. Tell us what it feels like to be in the booth. Well, okay, so Chris is like over here. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. You guys reach out. Uh, <laughs> look, 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 look. Where's Wait, my hand? No. Can you do my hand? Oh, no. Okay, no. That's not, that's not <laughs> it's much bigger than you think. Okay. okay. No, it's tiny. No, you should, you, they still can't see you. <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're within an arm's reach away from each other, although we try to make it look like we're miles apart. Okay, we get that part. What else? Yeah, what else? There's like, I can see myself on the screen, I can see you in the screen, the cameras, the setup is so pro. There's like lights bouncing off the roof, there's lights from <laughs> there's lights either everywhere. side. Yeah, yeah three-point lighting on point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we were talking yesterday. Mm -hmm. or the day before Monday. I'm sorry yeah. yeah and this really organic conversation started to emerge and you started asking me all these questions about how we're marketing how we're launching our classes and I had no answers for you I said the person you need to really talk to is Mr. Ben Burns and so therefore Ben Matt you say hello what's going on guys hello <laughs> you guys realize we're all we're live right you guys uh, okay hi <laughs> okay. and Aaron is on the edit today you guys as we dive deeper into today's conversation feel free to start um, putting on comments in YouTube and you guys are blasting it out on the internet right now through Instagram and through Twitter that we're live, right, Ben? Yep. Okay, super. Okay. So, Joanna, I think you're going to ask me a bunch of questions to kind of tear us apart, right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's going to be the funnest way okay. <laughs> to, for your audience to learn a little bit about um, product launch. Right. And, you know, there's no right or wrong here. This is just the things that I've picked up from doing this with my clients uh, for the last five years and mm -hmm. from going to a bunch of conference on the topic. I I just spoke at uh, Traffic and Conversion, which is the largest marketing conference in North America. So now I'm just bringing all that knowledge wow. here so that your audience oh my can gosh. get it too. You're so generous. <laughs> you go to the conference, you extract all ideas, and you need to come here and share it with us for free so that we can share it with our audience. We yeah. are very lucky right now, you guys. This is super. When you say the largest conference, how many people are at, in attendance? Uh, over 6,000. Six thousand. Wow. Yeah. And when you spoke, how many people could fit in that room? So my room was smaller, but okay. there was five hundred people. That's still a lot. And it was standing room only. Room. They had to turn some of my friends away. Wow. Pretty cool. Look at you. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. So what kind of questions do you have for Ben? Okay, so I want to know what you guys are doing so that we can break it apart and I can tell you like okay. this is what I've seen in the industry work and if you guys are doing a good job or not. Okay. So let's talk about the product that maybe you think is has the most impact in people's lives or the biggest one that can make if you could triple your sales on that that would make the biggest difference which one is that chris oh i said for ben or ben <laughs> sorry <laughs> no i can answer but i want ben to answer it no that's true chris doesn't know a lot of the answers to these right. questions <laughs> right. I, you know I, actually before we even get to that i want to yeah. give people the context 
because I think we opened okay, up yeah, about yeah. product launch. So the reason why Joanna is here is she's going to school us. And the whole point is that obviously on the future.com, uh, we sell products. That's part of our business. That's how we make we money. Do. Right. So jo Joanna is here as an outsider to bring some outsider knowledge to quiz us and grill us to see what we are doing well and what we're probably not doing well so that we can improve uh, our funnels, our sales process so that we can deliver more valuable content to you and maybe an audience that we don't have yet. Yeah. Okay. So with that, sorry. All right. <laughs> Ask Keep the going. question one more time. So Ben, tell me what, if you could uh, triple the sales of a product, which product would you choose for that to be? Let's analyze that one. Okay. Um, Ooh. Hmm. Triple All of the them. sales. I like the way that sounds already. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one. No, but I think that the most impactful product that we have is the business bootcamp. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And tell me a little bit more. I mean, I've seen it online, so it's like an eight week. Yeah, it's an self. intensive, really, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of homework in that one, but um, it's eight weeks long. It's uh, a series of lectures and then live Q&As. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get a little bit of mentorship from the three of us, Matthew, myself, and Chris, and also Greg. Um, and then we go through a lot of mindset stuff, a lot of like um, conversational tactics and negotiation tactics. And uh, then we get into things like delegating and uh, scaling and onboarding clients. There's tons of stuff that we cover. And it's all focused towards scaling an existing business. Mm -hmm. So the transformation typically that you see your students take, what does that look like? Do you have more yeah. recent stories? Yeah, I think yeah. The, the, the big transformation, um, one is mindset. They come into the course thinking, I could only charge so much because of whatever limiting belief they might have, whether that's location mm -hmm. um, or their experience. And so we tackle that up front. Mm -hmm. And the second part is, you know, I'm so frustrated with the people I work with or the clients I, I end up working with, and that's because they're not communicating well with them. So we're able to transform the way that they communicate and alleviate a lot of the friction that is normally happening with a lot of these engagements with their clients. And then lastly, the biggest transformation that's awesome for us is that they charge more. So we've had, um, I'll give you an example for our latest boot camp that we just finished. There was a woman in there who was charging about $5,000 for her services her engagement mm -hmm. and we kept telling her charge more charge more and maybe for the first four weeks it she uh, resisted for quite a bit it was something that she couldn't break through and then as we were reaching the end of the course she said you know what guys i just got my fifth my first fifteen thousand dollar engagement wow and then um, a few days after that she's like i just got my second fifteen thousand dollar engagement mm -hmm. and i asked what what has changed what what is different and it's just because her approach to the sales process now is much more different. Where before she was trying to push her services and try to sell, when what we teach in the course is to people to lay back, understand what it is that's going to be valuable to the other person, and just go in there uh, as somebody to diagnose rather than to prescribe. Mm -hmm. And that um, transformation has allowed her to opening up, open up her limiting beliefs and to charge more money because she is now becoming more valuable to her potential clients. Right, but then let's dive in even deeper. Like, what's the transformation that, I mean, I, I, I can already tell what it would be. Like, they're making more money. Are they happier? Are they, do they experience more freedom? What, do, what is that thing? More money is, is probably the top benefit mm -hmm. that they're getting out of the course. Yeah. Um, but there's also a level of confidence that they get mm -hmm. um, that's pretty hands down universal across all the students that have been through. Um, they're just more self confident. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with that, obviously, with more money, what's happening is that means they have to take, they don't have to take on as many clients. That gives them more time, and I'm already seeing a lot of these people start to delegate out. Where before they were maybe a one or two person shop, now they're actively looking how they might delegate out the roles that they traditionally had done in the past. Mm -hmm. So this program for us is only about six months old in total, but uh, so we don't have the long, you know, like a year later or three years later, what's happened to them. Mm -hmm. But we've seen money has th been the biggest transformation. Yeah. And I mean, you can get you can get pretty big transformations in six in six months for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I started with an online course, too. So this is like very dear to my heart. Yeah. <laughs> um, Everybody's got an online course these days, isn't it true? <laughs> but not everybody's successful at it. That's why I'm leaning into this conversation mm -hmm. right no, now. No, but so so what I was saying is I started my business through the what I learned from an online course. I had mm. no idea before. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, Chris, we were talking yes. on Monday about your big vision for the future. I mean, you have 
massive goals. I do. And so is is like getting as many people as you can to make more money as a designer one of them? Yeah, I think the larger, broader st- strategy is to empower creative people to live a fulfilled life that's sustainable. And for some people, it just might be the inspiration or the courage to pursue design as a career choice for someone would be to get out of a dark depressive state where the client has absolute control over the creative process and they become essentially order takers Mm -hmm. and for some it's to to grow their team from two to 20 or however many people they need to grow it to we're here for for those people and Mm -hmm. and that's part of the mission those are the the net result of if we're doing the mission right Mm mm-hmm and so if you could, you'd have everyone in your audience take this course. Most people. If I could, I guess I would say yes, but not everybody's ready for it. For example, the reason why I want to say this is some people are still in school or they're just learning the fundamentals. So mm-hmm. learning how to launch, run a business, to work with clients and negotiate, they're, they're just not ready for that just yet. Right. And right. that's a really massive audience, right? So the ones that have had a couple of years practicing running their business, either doing design, web design, UX, branding, or, or development, that's who this business bootcamp is for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But, okay, so there's an, it's not for every, it's not for your whole audience, yeah. but if you could mm-hmm. create this transformation for more people, I mean, that would be awesome, right? Because yes. the more lives you change, like the better, I guess, like the more, the closer to your mission you're getting. Yes. So what are you guys currently doing when the business bootcamp launches? Ben? (laughs) Ball caught. Uh, Typically, we open it for pre-sale. So the pre-sale period is usually four to six weeks long. And we basically market to the people who have shown interest in this before. Prior to the pre-launch period, we we don't do much. Sometimes we'll publish testimonials or we'll publish um, or we'll talk about the course on the live stream. But uh, the pre-launch period is really where we market to our current audience pretty heavily. And that's a mix of uh, direct emails, retargeting ads. Sometimes we run cold ads, but they haven't really been successful for us. And uh, webinars. Webinars. Yeah. Probably once a week we would do a webinar leading up to that to try and capture people. In each webinar we have some kind of special offer. Obviously the most incentive is the earlier you jump on, Mm -hmm. you get the most discount, you get the most bonuses. Mm -hmm. Then as you get closer and closer, we just make the urgency the the time that's left to enroll. Mm -hmm. And obviously uh, there's less incentives as you get further and closer to the launch date. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, okay, so you, you guys are already doing a couple of things, right? Which is like the bonuses is a big one. How mm-hmm. many people um, end up on your email list? Like, because you mentioned Total? you do a lot of emails. Yeah, we have 42,000 on our email list. Awesome. And growing every day. And so how many people show up to webinars? Um, it depends on the webinar. Definitely no less than 250, and mm-hmm. we have maxed out the room several times at 500. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. And what is the biggest objection that people are saying that they're not, like, they're not buying? Price. Price. Mm-hmm. It's too expensive. Yeah. I think a lot of our audience, they'll come in for the free advice or content that we have on the webinar, mm-hmm. but they always are pretty honest about this, too. It's like, I'm just here to get more information. I know I can't afford this right now. Mm-hmm. So price is one of the things that I discussed with Chris on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I've seen a lot of online course launches and they're always between 1,000, 2,000. Mm-hmm. And the biggest I've seen is 3,000. Mm-hmm. So I don't have any data to prove this, but I'm wondering if the price point is going to be one piece that if we change it, if we tweak it, it could make it more successful. Yeah, mm-hmm. and just for everybody tuning in, the cost of the business boot camp is $4,000 retail. That's U.S. Mm-hmm. If you get in at an early bird uh, level, sometimes they're two ninety nine or almost 3000 Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm, your audience would be pretty happy if it went down to two grand, right? Yes, but they would be <laughs> even happier if it was 200 <laughs> Right. No, but see, I don't agree with it being no. 200 
Okay. Because if it's 200, it's if it's affordable for them and they're not going to take it seriously. This is about transforming their life. If they're mm-hmm. really serious about going all in on freelancing or building a design agency, then they need to feel that like, oh, that stretch because that's going to help them up level too. Mm-hmm. I know that when I enrolled in, because um, I, en- I enrolled in something similar to Business Bootcamp when I was a, I, wor- I was working for a design agency. It was two thousand dollars for an eight-week course that taught you how to um, how to get clients, basically, mm-hmm. and how to start an online business. And I I didn't even make that a month. So it was it was definitely a stretch. But when you really want something, you're gonna you're gonna make it happen, right? Mm-hmm. And so I'll. I want to walk you guys through uh, the product launch strategy that I see most often, Ooh. and it's not it's not my original strategy. Like uh, Jeff Walker coined it, it's the product launch formula, okay. and um, I've seen it being run for some of the most successful launches. I mean, one of them is uh, B School. They've just celebrated their tenth anniversary, and they have forty four thousand members. At nice. two thousand, nice. Mm. If you do the math, that's. Did you say B school, like B is in boy. Yeah. Oh. B is in business. B in, B is in business. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yeah. And so the first thing is the pre pre launch. That's the first phase. How many phases are there? So I can. There's four. Four phases. Okay. Four. So we're pre launch here. So I'm taking notes here. I'm doing whiteboarding, guys. Can you guys see that? Pre pre launch, not pre launch yet. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. The pre pre launch. Pre pre launch. There we go. So here you want to start warming them up without mentioning business boot camp. Um, and this is funny because now you're you're a whole audience. If you end up doing the strategy, they're like, "Oh, I know what they're doing." Right. <laughs> but the um, the purpose of this one is to warm up your audience to the transformation that they could get on the other side. So that their mind starts to crave that, like, yes, I want, I want to to live in a, I want to be able to afford to move to whatever city I want. I want to be able to have more freedom. I want to be able to have less projects. You know, whatever that is, mm-hmm. it should be emotional, aspirational. Um, it's about the, yeah, it's about the transformation in their life more than what's actually being taught at this point. So one really cool thing that you guys could do is like either get your students that your best success stories get them here and record something with them or go go to wherever they are and record it with them or get them to do a little video about that but have it really be like this was my life before and this is my life now Mm -hmm. like now i can afford this now i go i can afford the conferences now i can I've been able to like fly to wherever Chris is and meet him in person because I can, because I'm making more money, because I have more freedom, because the business is running, you know, without me. I don't know, whatever, whatever that is. So we want to warm them up so that your audience is like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then the pre-launch, you'll want to do a three-part video series. This is the most common one I see. I, I've seen other people do challenges uh, that could work too. But because um, you guys already deliver so much value on your channel, how you want to differentiate this is maybe have them like have classes where they fill out worksheets so that they're by the end of the three part video series, they're getting results. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you could think of like potentially something that you could do there. Mm-hmm. And they have to opt in. It's very important that they give you their emails for these series. Like don't just don't do them on the YouTube channel. Make people show you that they are serious. Like I'm serious about this. Mm. I'm very interested in taking these this three part series. Even if at the end I can't afford the business bootcamp, here's my email. Mm-hmm. And the part of the point of this three uh, part video series is to give them like a little taster of what is it like inside the business bootcamp. Mm-hmm. At the same time, you're emailing them about these three videos so that they know they're coming. Um, You can retarget them on Facebook as well if you want. Um, But the the final video, so there's three videos and then there's a webinar. Mm -hmm. 
the webinar is where you sell. So you've done webinars before. Um, and the idea is that you've, you've got 42,000 people in your email list. That's about, is that 10% of your audience on YouTube? Am I doing the math right? Roughly, yes. Yeah. But if you have something that is very exclusive and everyone's raving about it because by this point you've warmed them up, you've shown like, look at the transformation, come and join us in class, like let's all take this three-part um, training together, whatever you want to call it, and then hopefully your email audience will get a lot bigger. And then you make them opt-in for a webinar. Cause, but you guys, your list probably got this big because of the opt-in for the webinar, right? Uh, mostly that, downloads, downloadable resources. And downloadable resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so on the webinar, first you want to get them live on the webinar. And you want to say that there's going to be webinar-only bonuses for the like first 10 people that um, first 10 people that buy or first 100 people that buy, they get this. Sort of like what you did on Kickstarter, but just to create that urgency so that people are like rushing to, to make the purchase. Mm -hmm. And during this webinar is where you want to give them as much value as possible, but Chris, this is where you bring in like all the sales techniques you know. Yeah, tell and me about these techniques I know. Well, you're the one teaching them all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to bring them in. Yeah. And, you know, I know that as creatives, we don't, or most creatives don't really like to sell our work, right? It's it's uncomfortable, it's icky, yeah. it's like we don't want to be salesy, and maybe now your audience is like, oh, no, like, I don't want Chris selling to me. But you know that what you have is really good, right? You know it's going to change their lives. Yeah. So it's like if you had the cure for cancer, you'd be like telling everyone, like, look, here it is. Right? You'd yeah. be like making sure. Oh, I believe that. I have no problem selling. Okay. Now, now, <laughs> but your message is going to ring true to our audience, right? Because a lot of creative people think, I, I spent all my time and energy developing my craft and it feels sleazy, slimy, dirty to sell. But I don't have that issue at all because I believe in what it is that we do. And it's a fraction of what it costs me to learn and I, I, it's not just me saying it. When people are taking our class, like when they're two weeks into the class and, and they say to us already, this is transformative, it's a, a game changer, our mind is blown, I can end it right here, then we know we've delivered value. Mm -hmm. And we have students who don't even, aren't even done with half of the class who have already paid for the class threefold. Yeah. So we hear these testimonials all the time and they're very exuberant in telling and celebrating their wins. Mm -hmm. So I believe in that. So there's, I believe the course should be $30,000, but I'm just going to give you a discount right now because <laughs> I want you to win. Well, but even, but if it was $30,000, there'd be a lot of people who couldn't afford it at the beginning, right? right? They could yeah. see the value at the end. That's right. But they couldn't afford it. They, they couldn't even make it work. Yeah. And I, I don't like the idea of people going to debt um, for these kind of things. Me neither. Um, but like if it was $2,000, i am sure they could make it work. Maybe they could like ask their parents for a loan or something like that. Um, and okay, so one of the things that I'll, I'll, I think you guys are doing wrong is the cart is open for way too long. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they, if people know cart is open for four to six weeks, they're gonna sit back, relax, and and they're like, oh, I'm there's gonna no make urgency. a decision. Yeah, yeah. There's no no urgency at all. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like, I'll make a decision sometime soon. They've watched the webinar right at the beginning, and then they're gonna forget. Yeah. Because life gets busy. So what if cart was only open ten days? Mm -hmm. They already know it's coming because of the three part video series. So question on that. Yeah. Since we offer. <clears throat> deals along the way that expire. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say our best deal, you get $1,000 off the course, it becomes $3,000. That only usually lasts for, what, six days, seven days? Yeah, just just shy of a week. Yeah, and that deal closes. Mm -hmm. So does that count towards the urgency, or are you saying scale the entire thing down so that we're, we're only opening sales for about 10 days? Yeah, just scale it down. Wow. So that during those 10 days, those people are like thinking about it and they're seeing it everywhere. This is another key thing. For those 10 days, they need to be reminded everywhere they go that they're interested in this. 
Mm -hmm. Everyone who's been on the webinar, they've landed on a thank you page. You can pixel that audience and target them with a bunch of ads. Like, look, cart's about to close. And email them, like, the first bonuses just, just went. Um, so regarding the bonuses, you'll want to do a fast action bonus, right, like for webinar only. And I don't know if like, sure, discount motivates people, but this should be something that it's like, like I loved what you guys did with Shadow Chris for a day. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you have, you have to play around with what's realistic, what you guys could do, but if it's like the first 10 people that buy get to all come in and have a day with Chris that mm -hmm. like that will get people jumping on the offer because it's the first time you've offered it or it's something that you never offer anyone mm -hmm. it's not part of your product suite then you want to so that's like on the webinar um, then you have like so that disappears like first 10 people okay they're gone that's it you missed out you email them the day after the webinar and like good news and bad news like bad news is like all those 10 spots to shadow Chris they're gone but the good news is for popular demand we've just added another bonus and wow them with something else mm -hmm. and then you'll get like more people buying the second day and 24 hours before cart closes you'll want to do like a mic drop bonus Ooh, I like the way that sounds mic drop and then what happens what's that bonus like that would be like the best bonus you offer okay so we're still in pre-launch we're still in step two right now sorry no now we're no. in launch okay so we, we, i was okay. taking notes Cart under pre-launch too all right yeah so let me update the notes here yeah where are we in this because i got step one and two but i don't know if i heard step so the pre-launch the pre-launch pre-pre-launch sorry the first step you're warming them up mm -hmm. to the transformation okay, let's, look, let's look at the notes here together everybody Focus so, Aaron, when I'm drawing on this, don't cut to my face because all you're going to see is the bottom of my hat, okay? <laughs> so, here we go. You guys see this? So, so Joanna, you can see this too, right? Yeah. So, let me let me push in a little bit tight here. So, we have the pre-pre-launch, the warm-up. There's uh, some transformation that we're, we're talking about, a desired future state. Right. And we're going to play to emotion, and we're going to uh, share success stories of graduates and people who have done this, and really focus on the before and after of their life. This is what I used to do. Mm -hmm. I used to wait tables or do design on the side and now I'm the owner of a successful practice, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. we're now going to yeah, move so, into so the... So on that, mm -hmm. the your testimonials that say like the course paid for itself, it's great, but it's not really helping your, um, your students put themselves in the shoes of where they were at when they bought, yeah. right? Tell, mm -hmm. So this is about telling a story. Yes. Like I remember that the thing that got me to buy B-School at the time was a story that it was um, a woman who was a waitress. Mm. And she, she like uh, borrowed some money uh, from her parents to pay for the course, and now she's like she has a six-figure business and uh, or more I can't remember, and she's doing all these things and she's traveling, but before she was a waitress, so she was talking about how she felt as a waitress. She was demotivated. She thought her life was going nowhere. Um, she was she was barely making ends meet. And at that point, I'm putting my, I'm identifying myself with her. I'm like, oh, I'm not a waitress, but I, I'm where you were when you bought. And if you can do that as a waitress and get that whole transformation, then myself as a junior designer, like, where can I go if I take this, if I take this leap of faith and if I take this course? Mm -hmm. So you want to meet them where they're at so that they're like, Oh, so I thought this was just for people who had lots of money and were successful already. Right, right. So okay. do these take the form of we put this in email or video? Like what form does this take? Because you mentioned for the pre-pre-launch, you don't mention the product at all. So I'm wondering where this would exist and what form this would take. Um, you, could do, you could do a bunch of YouTube lives with your, with your um, students. Mm -hmm. um, and we could, you know, we could play with this. Maybe you mentioned the product. Maybe it's just when, when I started working with Chris. Mm -hmm. um, and you also, this is also like, besides warming the, them up for the um, transformational piece, you'll, you can also like start 
just feed them with like more business related videos so that they're in that that headspace where they're analyzing their freelance practice where they're analyzing their prices where they're you know they're really thinking about everything about their business and looking at their life and thinking like hmm maybe maybe some things here need to change right so we're educating them on the problem at this point yeah gotcha on the problem and then what's possible and mm -hmm. then the pre-launch is when you invite them to give you their emails mm -hmm. and you show them and you uh, teach them through a three-part video series mm -hmm. at the end of those and this could be like over a week or over 10 days as well um, and at the end after the three videos that are like an autumn that are automated mm -hmm. you you invite them to a webinar and you can you can have like two or three possible dates they can choose from then they get to watch the replay and all that jazz and during the first webinar that's when the cart opens mm -hmm. that moves us into the launch phase mm -hmm. by keeping the cart open for only 10 days and by having the pre launch in place you're generating a lot of buzz around this for a short period of time and everyone's like oh did you do this video oh i got this out of this video and you're thinking of joining the business bootcamp because i am oh my god we've only got 10 days like how can we make this happen there's going to be urgency there's going to be excitement people are going to be talking about it it's not like four weeks where everything just gets diluted right right mm -hmm. Like, this is a big deal. Like, you guys have created, like, an amazing product that creates these awesome transformations. So make it a big deal. Make it a party. Make it, you know, the coolest, like, the lead up to it. Like, the coolest thing everyone's an, ever experienced online. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about it in every video. Like, guys, like, cart's about to close. Are you in? We're already celebrating everyone who's in. Um, yeah, so then cart is open for 10 days. Mm -hmm. And 24 hours before it closes, that's where you do the mic drop bonus. Because most people are going to be like, during those 10 days, they're going to be like trying to f make ends meet. Like, how, we, how can we get the money? Who can we borrow it from? How can I like maybe work a couple of extra pro uh, projects to make the money? Um, I worked nights and weekends for the 10 days that B-School was open to make $2,000 in 10 days. Mm. And that blew my mind that I was even able to do that, but I wanted it so badly. Um, you also said something to me on Monday that you put out this statement. The statement yes. was a question, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us what it is? So leading up to the launch, one of the videos, um, Marie got people to answer the question, answer the, finish the sentence, wouldn't it be great if... And I wrote in the comments, wouldn't it be great if I magically got some freelance clients so that I could make $2,000 in time <laughs> for, for, B for cart clothes? And one person saw that comment and she's like, well, I don't have $2,000, but I need a logo. Does $800 buy me a logo? And that was my first freelance client <laughs> and that was my first price. Wow, that's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be um, great, guys, if we made four and a half million dollars this year? <laughs> I'm just putting that out there, guys. So in case somebody... Wouldn't it be great? <laughs> well, it was... So funnily enough, it was when you said that, that I'm yeah. like, okay, so what are you doing to get there? <laughs> like, my mind goes to the strategy straight away. Like, yeah. are you doing the right things to get there? Because um, I, you know, I haven't done this myself, but I've helped a lot of our clients get to multiple some seven figure launches with right. our online courses. And let's just take a moment here because we didn't do a lot of the intro of who Joanna is. And people are saying all kinds of wonderful things about you in the chat saying, taking Chris Doe to, this, to school right now. We love her, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of good energy out there right now. But you work with a lot of authors, influencers, big time people. And mm -hmm. you help them with their funnel, right? You help them with their course launch or product launch, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. beautiful. So we, we also like design their, the back end of mm -hmm. uh, the course. That's one of the things we, we do the most. Like, um, so a lot of our clients end up having multiple 
courses. So then they need one login portal that then manages all their users. And some have like thousands of users. Mm -hmm. Nothing like base school with 44,000 members, but we're getting there. Yeah. Um, what yeah. software do you guys use? We're using... Uh, we use different depending on the client and who, what they're with. If they're with Infusionsoft or Entreport, we'll use different plugins. We use WordPress and we use Membarium a lot, uh, WP Courseware, I think. Um, yeah. It's more like we'll build the website and then we'll, we just need a portal. Would you guys like to know all the different portals and platforms and applications that Joanna is using to do this for her clients? Well, there will be a downloadable email product coming to you soon with a list. <laughs> okay. Am I listening? Am I a good student right now? Well, you just gave your teacher homework. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm a great student right now. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay. So we're still. How's this feeling for you guys? Is that is this new? Is this like, is your head spinning with ideas? So far, so good. And I just want to say this: Tony Alves is saying these young Portuguese millennials are killing it. <laughs> <laughs> yep there we go no i'm i'm following i think it makes total sense um I, are we on step four yet um, wait wait what's the launch because step three is cart opens so that's what happens that's when we launch. do the webinar oh the yeah. launch is cart opens yeah. yeah so cart opens that's for 10 days it's uh t and then 24 hours before you do the mic drop bonus so I guess the the question I have now is step four so i I guess I want to get through the steps so that I can understand how we might look at our own process now and how we might map uh, the improvements that we can make there. Okay, so the post-launch is the downsell. Mm. They didn't make it. Maybe next year. Oh, that's another thing we need to talk about, how often you launch this. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with the Black Friday sales, just mm -hmm. as an FYI. Uh, so you want to you wanna give them a, a downsell. So this will be like something that would be like a quarter of the price. Like, oh, sorry, mm. you didn't make it. Maybe next year. But in the meantime, here's like our playbook. Or here's like this other course that we have related to what you just put them through. You know, so if it's the business boot camp, it has to be related. Mm -hmm. um, it could be just, yeah, it could just be an ebook or something. And, and yeah, and you saw them that. I have a question about step three. Mm -hmm. So you said 24 hours before the cart closes, you do a mic drop bonus. Mm -hmm. Compared to all the other bonuses, is that the best deal? Yeah. Okay. Wow. But it's so one, okay, so the fast action bonus is not scalable. Because it's only for the first 10 people. Mm -hmm. I see. So like time with Chris is not scalable. So right? that's really the best deal. The first deal is the best deal. And then the oh. mic drop bonus is like, everybody can get this. It's scalable, but it's really good. So I'll give you an example of one because I'm doing, uh, and I'll get into this next, which is affiliate affiliates. So I'm, I'm, um, my client is launching a course soon, and I'm going to be her affiliate because I think it's aligned with, um, with what my clients need. And so I'll be promoting her launch and giving my bonuses as well. So on the f on the webinar, the first ten people that buy. I will give them a one hour strategy call with me. That's not scalable, right? I don't want to give more than 10 because I'm doing these, well, not for free because I get commissioned, but you know, like I can't give a thousand people one hour of my time. But then the mic drop bonus is a retreat in Portugal. Everyone can come to my event hmm. Hmm. in Portugal. And then I'll figure out the logistics depending on how many people sign up to that do does so, everybody who buy get the mic drop uh-huh oh, okay cool yeah gotcha so it's like by that time everyone's like really happy <laughs> like yes and they're talking about it and they're like oh my god i get to do this or you know maybe it's you host like a an event here this space can hold a lot of a lot of people and cool. yeah and so that's like that's the launch then you can play with are you running, how many emails are you you're sending? Because whilst cart opens, a lot of people say three emails a day. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm not too comfortable with those. Um, it just seems like a lot. But you're always giving them value whilst the cart is open. 
always with a call to action at the end, like make sure you join boot, the business bootcamp for more. And you can also be running Facebook ads, Facebook retargeting ads. So they're like, oh my God, I'm being reminded. So even if they're not in their inbox and they're scrolling on Instagram, they're like, oh yes, like I, I forgot about this. I still need to buy and I've got like two days now. Mm-hmm. Chris is diddling. Chris, how? you still paying attention? I'm just yes, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm just trying to draw how somebody's dreaming of the future. <laughs> yes. How far in advance do you run this sales cycle? So the shopping cart closes. Mm-hmm. How long until the the course starts? Or is it immediate? Uh, that's up to you. Okay. I think. Yeah, it could be like, I mean, you, you you'll want to give your team some buffer, right? make sure everyone's enrolled everyone's in the mm-hmm. in the facebook group or whatever you offer mm-hmm. maybe to have a break because the launch is intense when you do it in 10 <laughs> days you want to be getting on you want to be like answering everyone's uh, questions on our dms or getting on the phone with some of these people and helping them work through their their blocks mm-hmm. um and yeah so that's so that's like the big picture strategy Mm -hmm. but then what i think would be fun and what what i'm doing for my client is affiliate launches so who can you get that is invested in this this product to promote it to their audience that would be a line that would be a good fit and they can offer their bonuses too so what's really funny around B school, because it, they've it's been running for so long, and there are people in the sidelines waiting for the next year, for it to open. Everyone goes around bonus shopping. Hmm. They're like, oh, what's this person offering? Oh, they're offering this online course. Well, this person's offering one-on-one calls with them, so I want to go with with this bonus. And they're choosing like who's promoting it, and where can I get the most bonuses? Mm-hmm. And you're going to grow your audience through doing that as well, because a lot of people will be sending their audience to the three-part video series. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and then it's just like everyone's talking about it online. Suddenly you're everywhere because all your friends are promoting it, and it's all people see. For 10 days, it's all people see. It's the future, the future of Business Boot Camp. Look at these transformations. Look at this. This is going to be awesome. And 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 then it, it's going to create that, like, FOMO effect. People are like, oh my God, like everyone's in there already or everyone's talking about it. Like, I feel like I need to be there because everyone's there. I want to be a part of that as well. Yeah. And it also sounds like the affiliate deal that you're talking about is much more involved. So it's more like an affiliate partnership where you're marketing something together mm-hmm. versus hiring somebody to do the marketing for you and just paying them a commission. Um, so that's really yeah. interesting to me because I don't think we've ever done that. We do have affiliates out there that sell our products, but it's never a kind of like a co-branded, right? You Mm -hmm. know, co-mingled thing. So I'm curious, what's the revenue share breakdown on that? Fifty-fifty. 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 I see. Most often, and if you want to go really big with this, um, we in the launch that I'm helping, we have um, a members port, an affiliates portal, where we get trained. So I'm getting trained on this. I'm getting access to their copywriters to help me write the emails. I'm getting, I just, I was just in San Diego where I got, where they brought in a video production team to film our ads for us. So I showed up, I had a copywriter help me write the ads that I'm going to run. I had a video production shoot it for me. We were all hanging out, all the the affiliates just brainstorming, what are you going to do? And what are your bonuses? And we had someone help us work those out. Um, and we had so many more ideas because, you know, 10 heads think better than one. And um, we get training online, we get email support, and uh, we were there with um, the person we're promoting too. So we got to do Facebook Lives with this person. And now we're going to retarget our audience, the ones that watched like 25% of the video, were like, oh, so you already know this person. So let me show you more of what we're doing together. And as the affiliate, are you committing to a specific quantity of actions or emails or is it just kind of open and ended? No, um, I, at least I didn't for this launch. I, I mean, I'm sure there are people out there doing it differently. 
Um, but I, you know, the more I sell, the more I make. And I believe in this product, so it's in my best interest to do as much as I can. And mm -hmm. if she's helping me with the strategy, I mean, essentially, she's helping me make more money. Mm -hmm. Through selling something that I won't even have to do the fulfillment part of it. So this is really appealing for the affiliates. Because right. they're not going to have to work out like, oh, where are we going to host this? And, and um, you know, how are we going to deliver it? And let's put all the emails in place. No, I don't have to think about any of that. And what she's also doing, which is really fun, is we have a competition. So there's a leaderboard. So when Cart opens, well, first, when there's a pre-launch, there's a leaderboard who's bringing in the most leads. <laughs> so you're always looking. And, and she has prizes, too. So the top 10, we get... Um, we get to go to Mexico with her for a retreat where she's going to bring in more experts so we can learn how to scale our businesses. And the top one, I can't remember what it is, but it's probably going to be something big. Um, some even give monetary bonuses to the top person. So it's like all so many options you can brainstorm so you could and I think that what this creates is like now we're all competing with each other we're all looking like oh she's got her marketing game on like I'm gonna I'm gonna go rally some more people and and or like I'm 100 emails short of the top one so I'm gonna go and tell everybody I know and and make more posts or spend more on my ads so I think affiliates could be really beneficial to you guys as well to grow your audience and, and you, you're going to have invested partners selling this. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, I'd never heard of such a thorough uh, affiliate program. Mm -hmm. And I could see why it could be uh, highly incentivized for your affiliates. So that's something that we could definitely look into. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Avon mm -hmm. or Tupperware parties. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's, I hate to say this, guys. Here it comes. MLM, <laughs> multi-level marketing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I think Chris, we just got this. Watch your mouth. Oh my God! Right, <laughs> multi-level go marketing is what's going on here, right? So we have a product, and then we enroll a bunch of people into community to help us sell it, and we gamify the whole thing. And so they're doing the heavy, heavy lifting, mm -hmm. and they're spending money to market. They're throwing in bonuses and all kinds of stuff that really doesn't come to a cost to you they're just doing it to to make money for themselves so in the launch of the course we're creating a business ecosystem for anybody that wants to participate in it mm -hmm. and you were telling me before you know of a woman a girlfriend of yours who spent a hundred thousand dollars in ad buy yes. and she made a million dollars yeah yeah isn't wow. that crazy? We don't even spend $100,000 ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that somebody else is going to do it to, close. to grow this thing? Yeah, <laughs> so that, was, that, um, that reminded me of, a th of something you said on Monday, which is um, cost per lead or cost per customer acquisition. Yes. So you mentioned um, maybe it's, it's easier for you to discount your, your products because then more people buy. And so that's a cheaper cost per acquisition. But then you're not thinking of, is that what you said, Chris? Am I getting that right? Yes. Yeah, so Ben and I talk about this all the time. And we say that if you spend 20% to acquire a customer of the product cost, so if we sell a product for $100 and we spend $20 to market to them to get them to buy a $100 product, we, in my opinion, we're better off just discounting the product to $80 so that the middle people don't take the money. So you guys think about this. If we use this to trigger a sale, we know that whenever we discount our products, they sell fast because it's the FOMO, it's the window, the urgency, scarcity, and all the kind of things that get people to move. That aren't we better off just charging people less money, like $80, versus building out ads, hiring people to make ads, to giving that money to Facebook instead of putting it back in the pockets of people who want a product. Now, you have a very different point of view, and I'm just really fascinated by your point of view on this. Take it away. Yeah, because what if with the money, so you, you mentioned $20, you discount $20 and you get a customer. But what if with those $20, you get three customers? Because now you're using ads to reach more people or to convince more people. You're not, sh like, you need to test, is your, is your theory true? Yeah, I just want to, typically, 
we spend about 10 to 20 percent to acquire a customer on facebook that's that's our average so on a hundred dollar product we spend at maximum twenty dollars and so that's the cost for acquiring one mm -hmm. customer and that's where chris's logic comes in is well, why do that why not just discount it 20 bucks and give it to give it back to the people mm -hmm. Well, then maybe what's happening is you're not spending that money in the right way to acquire that customer. Totally mm -hmm. possible. Because yeah. I think that if you do some sort of like a launch, like what we went through today, that you're going to get, you're going to generate a lot more buzz. Like I remember business bootcamp when I, when I came across it, it was like, oh, is it still open? Like I, I just saw one post. Does it? No, we don't do a lot like, of marketing. I, we don't. I, I was, We're so I was exclusive even confused. That way. I was like, oh, maybe it's like. Yeah, the FOMO is like you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> you have you already one day that. to get in on the class, and you know what? FOMO, mofo. <laughs> but Chris, that's selfish, no? I know. That's no, selfish it's silly. It's, because it's your product Don't is even... so good. You want to make sure that every single member of your audience knows about L it. Let me just tell you how good our product is for a second. If I may toot our own horn here a little bit, okay? <laughs> I did a series of talks and workshops at NAB. Uh, last year in Las Vegas. No, I did not, Siri. Relax. Siri, <laughs> relax. The Jacks at NAB. Summon me. <laughs> yeah, NA just chill. Okay, <laughs> at NAB, we did this thing, and a gentleman came up to me afterwards for one of these classes, it was an hour and a half, and all I did was show him some bid forms. No worksheets, no to dos, didn't really explain that much, and showed him, here's how we bid, we talked about it. He found me on the showroom floor the next day, and he said, just showing me that one thing paid for this entire trip for me my daughter and my son the conference fees the hotel the airfare i'm like wow i'm not charging enough to do this and that's just one little sliver that goes behind the business boot camp mm -hmm. so we say that we have a seven or eight week course we have ta sessions and if you just did this one thing in this one module you have earned it all back times two so you don't even need to squeeze all the lemons or whatever we're giving you. Just take a little pinch, one slice, one sliver, and you'll see what a difference it can make. Uh, I remember Rags, who was part of Business Boot Camp, I think cycle one, right? Or cycle mm -hmm. two? Yeah, part cycle, one. Part yeah. one. He was just saying the first module, the mindset thing, was a game changer for him. And he went from doing thousands of dollars for an engagement to tens of thousands of dollars because he was filled with this belief and armed with this that he can go out there and do it and it sounds really strange you guys but sometimes it takes another human being to tell you you can do it mm -hmm. i believe in you and here's how and here's why you've been stuck and helping you to conquer your own demons and then boom the transformation can happen it's true it's like that so guys yeah. one million dollars boot business boot camp next year one million dollar launch no oh, just for one set of four thousand oh. dollars well that, that's that a million dollar change question. It's a million dollar change. No, I'm just kidding. Let's keep going here. That brings up a good question. What's the question? We got a question? We no, got a this is my question. It's a great one. <laughs> We're ignoring our YouTube audience. <laughs> Bad hosts. We'll get to you guys in a second, but actually they're not even asking questions. They're either cool, amazing, <laughs> radical, and all that kind of stuff. Toot. Okay, Ben, what's your question? How often do we launch this thing? I would say once a year. Only once a year. Wow. Okay. You Cacao. want to really get that scarcity in place. Yeah. Because this is, if it's mindset, you know, I mean, you've told me like that I should double my prices. Yes, I did. Um, and it is a mindset thing. You're, for them to take this leap of faith, for them to invest, they're going to have to do a mindset sh mindset shift too. Because they've probably at this stage, not invest, never invested this much in themselves and their self-development and business. Would you say? Yeah. I would say. So... By launching it twice a year, you're really not helping them push to that next level. I see. Because so they're going to be them, like, oh, in six yeah. months, it's going to come around again. Right. So let me so just they like, can this postpone. is too much for my brain. They let can me procrastinate. Just, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. That's pretty powerful stuff, Ben. Yeah. Think wow. about it. If we want you to change your life, we have to make it feel like life and death. This is it. Mm -hmm. This is your moment. One opportunity. Let's go. Yeah. Don't drop the ball. It is your job, Chris, and well, and, and the team at the future to really make sure that these people are getting pushed to the edge of their comfort zone to take this leap to buy this product. Because those are the people you're going to impact the most. If someone is mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to buy this because I'm already making 10 grand a month, then that's not 
like that's sure maybe you can take them to double that a month right. but you want to help the people that are making i don't know two grand a month mm -hmm. dow sign is saying no relation to me by the way dow sign scarcity creates fomo availability kills it mm -hmm. there you go yeah that's a good pay more and wait longer fomo city <laughs> kyle R ranta is saying learning and Anthony picked up what the vibes I was sending. Spaghetti, you got it. That's right. <laughs> you got it. You know what I'm talking about. Your uh, palms are sweaty. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry. That's Who it. else has got something? No questions from our group. Nothing. No, there, there are questions, but it's not. It's not related. No, no, no. you gotta <laughs> stay, stay focused here. Right, because it's we're being very selfish on the live streams. Normally, we give a whole lot of value, and hopefully, you guys are picking apart some stuff from this conversation. But uh, I know from my position, I'm very selfish for this live stream because I want to understand how we can do better as a business uh, to serve our customers or potential customers, and that's why we're kind of hogging Joanna here for these types of questions. So I know. This conversation can go very, very deep, and I know Ben is withholding a little bit on getting super tactical, and we could <laughs> ask a whole lot of tactical questions about Facebook ads and marketing Ignore and all Ricky. that stuff. So we can go deep on there, but I'm wondering uh, if there are any other high-level stuff that we might get into, because I, I like all of this stuff. It totally makes sense. We can go very deep, but I don't know, Joanna or Chris, if you guys have questions that might prompt us to move the conversation in a different direction. Well, or I'll, I'll tell you something that I think your audience might like. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about your price? Yes. Sure. Hold on. I just want to clarify something. Matthew's saying we're selfish. And it might appear to, to Matthew that he's being selfish. I don't think we're being selfish at all. Joanna's coming here. She needs to talk about something very real that we all can relate to and respond to and interact with. And we're going deep. The reason why I suspect the audience isn't asking a question, because they're not great questions. They're just really just, they're just chatting amongst themselves right now is because Joanna's doing a really great job of dissecting and we're being, I think, good students and participants in her class and getting schooled that there's just this natural conversation that's developing. I mm -hmm. think that's totally okay. And I think you guys want to know this because after Joanna's gone, you're going to be watching what we do and you can see how this conversation is impacting us or not. You mm -hmm. get to see that. Okay, let's keep going. Rock and roll. So, Joanna, you have a question for us. What's your question? Well, the pricing. Can I push back? <laughs> okay. Just threw up in my mouth. Keep going. So I know that you want us all to up level and charge more. Yes. But you also want to help as many people as you can. There's the conflict. And I know that there's a I know that we need to navigate this in a way that um, is fair because there's people that already paid four thousand. Right? So it wouldn't yes. just be fair if we discounted the next iterations. Unless you want to, you know. No, <laughs> don't even. Don't, no, I, I, you didn't even let me finish. Never say that word. How dare you? We okay, don't. Keep going. We don't want that, right? I don't. I don't know. We don't want that. But maybe we could offer it for two grand. That doesn't include the live calls. Yes. And they could up, and then they could buy the next level that includes the net live calls. We have something like that, I believe. That exact thing. That, that, that <laughs> very same thing. It's almost like we're reading each other's playbook. <laughs> and guess how much it costs. Is it 2000 Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> woo! Ben, we did something right. Woo, woo! All right, we got one point, minus 10, but you know, we got one thing right right now. Shows you. No. <laughs> are, they I, still, are they still in the Facebook group? Do you have a Facebook group? Of course. Several. Yeah. Hundreds, yep. actually. Yes. But they're, 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 not, they're not part of it, no. Like, so the, the difference in our pricing structure mm -hmm. is obviously the cheapest, $2,000, is just the videos and the materials. The second level, the one that we want most people to go to, is four thousand dollars, and that includes a weekly live Q and A session um, with uh, the Facebook group, so they could crowdsource their questions and get more feedback during the week. Mm -hmm. And that Facebook group stays open forever until Facebook is gone. And then the the last one, our third pricing tier is Don't high say touch. It. Be careful. Keep going. Keep going. Ben Burns. <laughs> ben Burns. Do not you say that word. Do not say that word. I forbid it's you. Shadow Chris for a day. Yes. So that that one's ten grand. But the only reason why we have that is because of a three pricing tier structure. So the middle one appears very attractive. They're called pricing decoys. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We don't. I don't really mm -hmm. want to spend the whole day with you. I mean, I, I do when I don't. Come on. <laughs> I got things to do. Right. Mm -hmm. You have ambitious goals to hit, and that's not scalable. If you're that's spending right. time, mm -hmm. I can't be doing that on scale. Yeah. No way. Um. Because I, I think that 4000 is 
is steep. I haven't mm -hmm. seen a product. And, you know, like there's a whole pricing science uh, or there are people that are experts at pricing. And what if by discounting it, or not discounting it, let's create business bootcamp 2.0 that has a little bit of a different structure. So it's fair and it's 2000. Right. What if that brings in like triple the amount of students or more? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm totally with you on pricing elasticity and pricing theory. A friend of ours, I can't. I should mention his name, but he does something very similar to us in a business boot camp. He priced his course for ten thousand dollars. It was almost exactly the same, mm -hmm. and he was playing around with the price. He he dropped it to the four. He raised it to six. He's been playing around with it. He said he sells more at six, so he found his sweet spot, mm -hmm. and less at four. So it's not always lower is better. Mm -hmm. no. And you're not saying that either. You're just saying find your spot. Mm -hmm. We've only tested at really one price point with the the two decoys, right? So two thousand or ten thousand, mm -hmm. and you can pick. Right? Yeah. And here's the thing. And, and, and you're right about this, too. I was joking before that it's a $200, then more people would be happy. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. We find that at a certain pain point, you will be super serious about making those changes. Mm -hmm. So if you buy something for 20 bucks, you're like, nah, I yeah. won't tune in. You're I'll not. watch it later. You're not going to do anything. So if anything, I'm doing you guys a favor by charging you more so that you will be committed to making those kind of changes. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was working with my business coach, he told me that there was this super amazing business coach and he would work with top level Fortune 1000 CEOs. He lived in the middle of the country. Let's say he lived in Montana. And his requirement was, this is the price, but you have to come to my ranch. You come to me. And that was non-negotiable. And part of the reason why he did that was because it would only get the CEOs who were going to be committed to mm -hmm. making the change. Otherwise, he was wasting his time. So he forced certain conditions. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about the money because they could all afford it. To fly in, to lock yourself in a room, and to get the work done that you need to, to get your life and your business goals in alignment and on its path. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Quick quick shout out to Kyodor. Thank you very much for the super chat. He's saying the reason why they're not asking questions is because it's we're shocked with maximum value. Cheers. <laughs> so thank you very much for the super chat. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Nobody's happy. I mean, there's really no questions. But, you know, like I, f I remember the first time I, I learned about this, I didn't have any questions because I had never done it myself. So you don't even know what to ask, you know, because mm -hmm. you're like, whoa, this is new. Oh, that's how it's done. Oh, my God. Now I see. Now I see that because I remember the first time I bought B-School, I was retargeted with an ad. This is when this is five years ago. So I think this is pretty new and I'm like oh my god this is a sign <laughs> mm. <laughs> not realizing that that ad was very specific to me <laughs> right right <laughs> about retargeting yeah. yeah it's like what a coincidence exactly <laughs> the law of attraction is at work here yeah fantastic it's all this technology it's a little creepy but it's also pretty cool so yeah um, regarding that I, I have some questions now that bubbled up and I, mm. I see some from the audience so in terms of I know earlier we were talking about our kind of ceiling in terms of how much we would spend to acquire a customer which is a, about 20% at the most with all of these other launches of people that you've worked with you know if they launch a million dollar course uh, you said they're spending 10% yeah uh, only 10% to acquire the, the customer this is one example, right? Because there are other people who are not doing it so such a good job where they don't have a good enough ads manager and they're spending more. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one that I know about. Right. There's like a hundred grand ad spend plus plus an existing audience, mm -hmm. which you guys have. A mm -hmm. um, million dollar in revenue, 10x. And, and how much? How big was their audience relatively? Um, 300,000. So less than us. And and then in this particular situation, did they have the affiliate deals as well? Yeah. So how much in affiliate? Because that's 50-50, so that's 50% gone. How many of those sales of the million dollars was affiliate? Do you know, roughly? No, no the million dollars was the affiliate commission. So the course... She got paid a million. She that got means paid a million dollars for promoting someone course else's course. Oh, yeah. and that she means made a other, million yeah. herself. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. So she sold a lot of courses, like mm -hmm. 5,000, I think. Gotcha. Okay. So there was an even bigger fish on, on top of all of this, at the top of the pyramid. Of course. Yeah. Gotcha. We have Imagine, to be the tip. 
Okay. Imagine, like, let's say this is aligned with my audience. You know, people mm-hmm. in Portugal are coming to me for for advice, and I don't have, I, I and I don't plan to right now on creating a, a business bootcamp, but mm-hmm. I want to help them. Mm-hmm. And so I, it's in my best interest to invest money in ads. If you guys give me half. Mm-hmm. Right, you give me two grand for every. If we're keeping it four grand, you're gonna give yep. me two grand for every customer I send you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Then I'm gonna like that's a lot of money that I can make from sending people your way. So I'm gonna invest a lot of money promoting it, making sure that I tell everyone I know that that is a lot that could benefit from the course about the course, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna think about great bonuses that I could offer. Maybe everyone comes to Portugal, we're going to all hang out. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of uh, what I do, my agency, all of that. So, Right, right, right. So you that's see? And so then I spend, let's say, well, I won't spend 100k on ads, but let's say I spend two grand, three mm-hmm. grand on ads. Mm-hmm. And then I get a 10x, I get uh, 30 customers. 30 times, how much is that? Oh my God. Like, 30 times 100? 30 no, times how much 4, am I getting 000, in affiliates? Hundred twenty, so sixty, sixty k. Yeah, so sixty k for me, sixty k for you, Chris. Right. In the future. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, uh, if there was a question in here, and I'll start looping these in. How do you prevent buyer's remorse, or is there any? So if you are the affiliate who's trying to prop up and say, you know, this is a great, fantastic course, and then as soon as they buy the course, you're not involved. It, has there any been any like blowback from that, or any situations where there's an, a sour taste in somebody's mouth? Okay, but then, so at this point, it's the responsibility of the affiliate to promote with integrity, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I, I trust you guys. I'm comfortable with saying you guys, to my audience, you're going to get a lot of value from taking this. Mm-hmm. I'm, it's also in my best interest to say who this is not for. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's in my best interest to say, like I would say to my audience, please don't get into debt credit card debt on your own for this like it's right. one it's one thing to ask your parents it's another thing to just like um you know use your credit cards and then just struggle to pay for it um and you're always very clear like i'm promoting something i'm going to deliver this bonus but i'm not involved with the business boot camp mm-hmm. so it's just about like that's the responsibility of the affiliates right. and you guys can also help guide your affiliates you know it's also in your best interest that your affiliates do well because the better they do the better you do so you can guide them through the process like make sure you tell your audience that this is not for these type of people make sure you tell your audience that you're not inside the course right so the affiliate training is really key in this having good materials for the affiliates to use good information that's that's pretty key i think i think it sets you up for success yeah right and the transparency and honesty, that's something that we strive for all the time here. I know uh, Chris believes in the value of what he do, but he also feels bad for selling stuff. You know, I think of all the people here, Chris wants, if he could, he would give away everything for free. Yes. So, uh, you know, having said that, you know, I, I think a lot of our audience and a lot of creatives especially, they feel like, you know, how do we do this without it feeling scammy? I think Cuban Nerd asked this in the chat. And I think part of it is what you're saying is if you have integrity and honesty and, and you're very transparent about everything, like we, we aspire to be, then obviously it doesn't feel scammy. But I'm, I'm wondering, with this information that's now out there, let's say our audience has now leaned in, they understand what's behind the curtain do you guys, the audience, feel like if we were to do this to you, would it feel scammy? And I'll ask you the same question first, Joanna, now that you know um, how these things are done, now that mm-hmm. you know you can get retargeted, um, would you take an online course for a few thousand dollars knowing what's behind the curtain and how this operates on you? Yeah, I take a bunch. She oh. takes a lot of courses. <laughs> I know. So Chris here's the told thing. me off about that. <laughs> I got to tell you guys about this. This is a really fascinating whole new oh, world. <laughs> Joanna, Henry... Yes. Carrie, they all work with influencers and help them build front end, back end, funnels, marketing, branding, design. They all buy courses up the wazoo. Mm-hmm. Can I can I tell them how much you spent last year? No. Yes. Yes. Deep breath. Go on. It'll be okay. She spent. I don't have a drum roll. <laughs> Fifty thousand U.S. American cheddar dollars last year in training. Here's the problem, Joanna. What'd you hmm. get for it? 
Okay, no. Chris. Yes? <laughs> I, I know that yesterday, uh, on Monday, I said yes. I didn't exactly hit my revenue goals. Yes. But uh, one of those courses was a public speaking course. Mm -hmm. And I got to become a really good public speaker, well, I think. <laughs> yeah. And get on big stages. And now that's bringing in... Revenue. Revenue. So, I so don't some, think it's some fair. things work, some things yeah, didn't. So I don't think it's fair that to say that like all of it was lost. I know that I said it in passing, like, yeah, and what do I have to show for it? But if I'm being honest, um, I do have a couple of things to show for it. But it's we do have to be savvier, or I have to be savvier in what I invest, for sure. Yeah, because you're, you're in the, I don't want to say it again, you're in the MLM. <sighs> and here's the thing that the reason why people hate these kinds of multi-level marketing is this is because the people at the top do really well and at some point the bottom collapses where mm -hmm. some soul, poor soul, spent $25,000 of money they could not afford to spend to market a class and it just didn't work and my God. That's not even the MLM's problem because they didn't even get the money. They spent on Facebook ads running promotions, gifts and parties and all these kinds of things and it just didn't work out, right? Mm -hmm. And some of these things are on pure vapor and that's why they're illegal. It's a Ponzi scheme, a pyramid scheme. It doesn't work. Our whole thing is I stand behind everything that we make. Mm -hmm. If it's flawed and you take it and you're really adamant like you gave it a fair shot and you're not a scammer yourself, talk to me. I'll work it out with you. Yeah. I'll make it right. So yeah. if everybody that you bought something from stood behind their product in the same way and you gave it your best effort to learn and you weren't just greedy and bought a bunch of things that you couldn't do because you have to be honest, sometimes it's them, sometimes it's you. Sometimes it's a combination of you and them, right? Mm -hmm. And that we can't blame everybody for everything, but that doesn't also mean that they're not free from blame themselves. So that's why people have a reaction to these kinds of things mm -hmm. here's because what, some of them are scammy. Here's what I'll say. Yes. Um, First, for if my team are watching or if anyone's thinking like $50,000, like that's ridiculous. But it's like you, you have to invest in, I think you have to invest in yourself 100%. to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. Now it's just it. about like choosing the right one. And right. yes, there are people scamming people out there, but I mean, there are also bad designers out there, right? Yeah. There are bad designers charging a lot for then when you look at the final product, you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's it. That's how much you paid for this terrible logo this terrible website that's always going to happen in every industry so it's our responsibility as customers to do our homework to do our due diligence buyer. yeah yeah 100 percent. now i was just drawing this pyramid because people like me drawing <laughs> so now <laughs> i'm drawing and just in case you're wondering i am not copying greg please i'm way older than he is okay i shouldn't be bragging about that so people are talking about like, how does the future make money? What are we doing here? So I'm going to show you guys the pyramid here. And I, I don't remember who I, I learned this from, quote unquote, stole this from. And they said, you know what? We make all these free videos, over 800 videos on two channels. And we spent a lot of time and money producing these videos. And so people, are, uh, I thought it was just Chris in a garage. Are you kidding me? Look at the team, the lighting, oh my God. the equipment. I you had know. no idea it's that a big it was production. this big. There's 12 people that work here in a 13,000 square foot building in prime real estate in Santa Monica to bring you guys this content and we produce most of the content for free the reason why we do this is so that you guys can go win it you can save yourself some money by going to schools that don't teach you anything and you can have a career in design animation or something else right and then you make some money guess what we have at the next tier of the pyramid we have a bunch of products that are under hundred dollars and if you think about what we're giving you relative to the value of what it would cost you to learn yourself proposals templates case study things, all, all kinds of stuff, and then you win, and you make money, and people buy uh, the, the product authored by Ben, The Perfect Proposal, it's a, it's a bestseller for us, and they go and win a job that they could not win before. Mm -hmm. They make money. And now they can afford the next one. They just go up the next level. So then we have a few products under 500 bucks, and then somewhere on there, you make some money again, maybe you'll join us in the Ben's Burn Business Boot Camp. The BBBB, <laughs> right? And that's at 4K. There's actually something above the pyramid, but that'll just pop your mind and I'll just leave you there. And I'll, I'll draw it right now. Okay, you guys can keep talking. I want to know. Do I'm I know? Draw. I'm, I'm going to draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to draw. You guys, you guys keep talking and <laughs> from time to time, Aaron will check in on the drawing. All right, I got a question about, let's get back to tactics. Okay. Bring it back home for me. Let's go back <laughs> to the, uh, the, the, the three-step or four-step system here. 
when we're talking about the pre pre launch, mm -hmm. how long is that period? I would say like a month. A month. Okay. Because and here's the other like the tactical reason why it's also a month. Did you know it's hard to spend a lot of money on Facebook ads? Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. So sometimes it's like that you need to, you need that month to start like because um, you can't just and, and for people watching you can't just suddenly say well this uh, I want to promote this pre-launch series so I'm just going to throw a hundred thousand dollars into promoting this series like Facebook won't let you you need to like build up to that so that's why most people will do like a month oh that's what we're screwing up in we're trying to spend money too fast <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook hey dummy you can't do that yep you just can't, okay? Good right. to know. Keep Next going. step, step two, pre-launch. How long does that last? The average I've seen it is like 10 days or sometimes a week. Like the first video will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the webinar next Monday or something like that. Okay, so step three is uh, shopping carts open for 10 days. Mm -hmm. So step four, how long is the downsell offer good for? That's a good question. Um, so I never paid too much attention to that one, but um, it could be like two weeks. You could. It sounds like you just totally made that up right now. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm, like, I'm just uh, basing on. it on. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me check my database. Let me let me. Here we go. <laughs> He's just like two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally made that up. I did, but it, from like common sense of what I've seen. In, in thousands of launches I've well hundreds of launches that I've I've seen yeah yeah, yeah. Um, okay keep going yeah so what's the eye Chris the eye is the secret stuff of life it's the Illuminati <laughs> so when you go beyond the business boot camp we're talking about customized training programs corporate training things that go into the tens of thousands of dollars and that's who we're talking to these days yeah, you could do like a mastermind for agency owners. That's Coming right. It's that. almost like you know what we're doing. <laughs> it's weird. the model that like a lot of coaches are doing. Like it's I'm I'm always fascinated by this industry. I've seen people who do like um, fifty thousand dollars a year to be part of this group where this coach teaches you. But then once you make a million dollars, you get taken to the next level, which is less people, more curated room, and then it'll be like double that. It's Sky's the limit with those it's things. Endless the pyramid scheme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this conversation is going anymore. But all right. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. I think we've covered a lot. Yeah. Matthew's got tons of questions. Let's go to Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think for me it's not so much questions, but I'm now I'm just reflecting back. Now that I've had a chance to wrap my head around all the um, feedback you gave in terms of how other people do it and how we might apply it. To me, the most insightful thing that I like is part of the pre-launch, step number two, the three-part video series. And what I like about this is that you're giving a small win to your audience. Mm -hmm. And the exchange for that is still free. It's just the email, right? Yeah. So you're already enrolling them. You're turning them into a warm lead at that point. Mm -hmm. So I really like that because I feel like we, ha we already do tons of that for free on the uh, YouTube channel, but we don't do enough of that where it's just the email exchange. So for us, I think I could see us applying that to our current funnels mm -hmm. right now to get people enrolled because mm -hmm. we have tons and tons of content. This is a great way to put some stuff behind a uh, uh, exclusive email yeah. wall and get people into oh, the system. And here's the other thing that happens in three part video series. They're not evergreen. They're not there forever on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So it's not like someone's watching this video on YouTube and thinking, Oh, that's good. I'm going to watch it back like later and I'll take notes or I'm going to watch it back later and I'll do the exercise. Right. So in the three part video series, you'll want to throw in things like worksheets and you'll want to during the video say like, okay, now you want to hit pause and go fill out this exercise. Mm -hmm. And then go share it like you could like if you wanted to, you could create a, a pop up Facebook group for the people taking the videos so you could be answering questions. Mm -hmm. So already mm -hmm. they feel like, oh, this is what's going to feel like when I'm in there mm -hmm. and they they're invested. They've printed their worksheets out. They've shown up to the videos and the webinar as well could have a worksheet. They've shown up ready to write, to do the work. And by doing the work, they're seeing the wins. Mm -hmm. So it's different than when they're like, you know, driving. Well. 
they wouldn't really watch the videos whilst they're driving to work or when they're like having their breakfast and they put on the feature and they're eating and they're not really in the mindset to maybe take action on those things at that time. Right. It's forcing a little urgency and participation so mm -hmm. that by the time they're done with this little three-part video series, they might have a taste of what else is inside. If I got this for free and I already got a little win, let's say I made more money mm -hmm. or charged more money, then <clears throat> what else could I do if I actually pay for this course? Yeah. And we believe that because we know that once people get over to the other side, we see huge transformation like we talked about at the beginning mm -hmm. of the stream. But mm -hmm. I do like that as something that we can definitely include in our yeah. uh, marketing funnels. And, and you're responsible for how your audience shows up, right? We're mm -hmm. also responsible for how our uh, leads for freelance work, uh, how they show up to our cl calls, right? Like I, I always make sure I email them before like our call is going to be in an hour. Make sure that you're not uh, driving because I want to some <laughs> I want to be able to share my screen with you and show you right. some of the work, things like that. So for the for the 10 part video series, you want to say like, make sure you save one hour on Monday, one hour on Wednesday, one hour on Friday. We're going to get really tactical in the videos and you'll want to like print the worksheets out in advance. The video is going to drop at this time so that they know they can block it into their calendar. They can print it out and they could be ready to take action. And in that mindset of, I'm gonna, this is only here for a week, and they're putting a lot of value out that normally would be paid for for free. So let me show up and, and do the work. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. I'm, I'm good on that end. Ben, do you have any questions following up on this? Not at this point, no. Chris? What about our audience? I'm busy b drawing the pyramid and Illuminati right now, guys. What about did, our audience? I did see one question in passing. I was trying to find it again, so I'm sorry I missed your name. But they said that webinars are cringy. What's mm. an alternative? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I challenge that statement. Are YouTube videos cringy? Are webinars cringy? It's not the medium. It's the massage. Exactly. Guys, come on. <laughs> there are cheesy videos on YouTube, and they're high-value programming on YouTube just like this. There are horrible channels on cable and there are really good channels that are premium. There's bad musicians and good musicians. Mm -hmm. It does not judge the webinar model. The reason why they're cringy is because they follow a very specific yes, formula exactly. that we hate. Yeah. I hate them. And the formula goes something like this. On this webinar, we're going to teach you how to double your income. But first, let me tell you this long story. Let me tell you all these success stories. And you're <laughs> waiting and waiting, waiting to the very end. And they're like, that's it and then you're gonna drop me into your funnel and to find out more I can't tell you until the oh my god I'm the cartoon the steam coming out of my head mm. scam so to whoever asked the question doesn't it feel good that we're answering that question now live because that's what webinars allow is for you to ask questions live and for and to, to get the answer instantly and if you trust Chris enough, you know that he won't be uh, scammy. Was that the word? Scammy? Yes. Scammy. Yeah, I'm not going to scam you, dude. Come on. People watch our webinars, and we know this. They watch our webinar because I'm going to teach you something. Some of them are fanboying or fangirling us at the moment. They just want to be in a conversation that's live with us, and they have no intention purchasing. That's totally okay with us. Earlier today, earlier today, I was on a pro call with 240 people in our group, but like 80-ish people showed up for the pro call. And I told them, I'm going to teach you value-based pricing in six steps. And I just went hardcore teaching. And a lot of people got value from it. One of the pro members messaged me later and said, wow, I'm having a case of the feels right now. The mm -hmm. exercise you did with us, what do I do with this emotion? You've tapped into something. Mm -hmm. Is and that then, what you showed me on Monday? Yes. Yeah. I was, was practicing with you. <laughs> And then I refined it. I'm going to refine it one more. And guess what? The webinar is going to be, you guys. It's going to be teaching you how to do value-based pricing so you can triple, quadruple your income. It's that clear. It's that clear. It's even more structured than our loose whiteboard drawing, Joanna. It was so good. It was so good. We were just, like, drawing all over the whiteboard on Monday. I, I wasn't expecting that, but I had, I had so much fun. And I learned so much as well. So it was a good value exchange between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done drawing, you guys. Uh, unless you guys want to take a request. <laughs> I could draw something. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? You guys, let's, let's try to end it on another like, really important thing while I goof off and do what I do. So what is that important thing? I don't know. Joanna, you said you had questions for me. No, I, I just... 
I That's just question. asked like a million questions. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to ask me a question like get some coaching right now. That's okay. Elijah, thanks for saying such a great convo. Kyle, impressive. William Youngblood, dang. Anybody else saying anything? This is live? Yeah, 100% Robert Orozco. Of course it's live. We are so live, it's sick. <laughs> Just like this hat, yo. <laughs> Anybody else, or do we wrap up here, you guys? Ladies and germs, should we get out of here? I think that's it. I don't have any burning questions right now. Yeah. Okay. So, that's it. So, let's do this then. Thank you very much. Aaron. <laughs> As I'm going to do the show wrap up <laughs> to you, which I don't even understand. I'm like, thank you. And then Aaron just cuts to somebody else. That's a genius of Aaron. Okay. I just want to thank everybody that's watching this live. Thanks for tuning in. All 222 of you guys tuning in live on this impromptu, unscheduled, real, real, raw conversation with myself, Joanna, Ben, Matthew, and Aaron cutting it. Thank you very much, you guys. Today's episode, you know. What we're going to do is we're going to play the music out, Aaron. We're going to drop the beats, and I'm going to just draw a little bit. Before I draw, you guys give me a request for a drawing right now. Go. Make sure it's a bald guy because that's all I can do. <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay. Spider-Man. Excellent. Thank you, Matthew. I'll draw Spider-Man <laughs> for you guys. So, Aaron, just let the music play and just cut to my screen, and we'll just stay it on there, okay? So, where's my beat? Is it this one? DJ ends, guys. In the house. Miami work. Yo. The rooster. See you guys next time. Doing a little Spider-Man. <laughs>